Hey guys, to create this 3D rotating text effect in DaVinci Resolve, let's first of all hop onto the Fusion page and bring in a text node. Now let's go ahead and write our text in the text box. And once that's done, I'm actually going to, for this example, create another uh, copy of this text by simply copying and pasting. And once that's done, uh, I'm also going to change bold to extra bold uh, for the sake of this demonstration. All right, so let's go to the layout tab now and let's change type from point to circle. We're going to change the width setting until this entire text wraps around perfectly in a circle. All right, so now let's go on to the rotation settings. First of all, change rotation water to Z, X, Y. And now we're going to adjust the X setting there. This will basically just tilt the text a little bit. So that looks perfect. And now let's go to the transform tab. What we're going to do is to come to rotation and then change X setting to 90. So now let's go back to the layout tab and we're going to adjust the Y setting here. This will just basically bring the front of this text uh, around so that it's at the center of the screen. Another thing you might want to consider doing at this point is to go back to the text tab and adjust the size so that the text is a little bit bigger. But when we do that, obviously you can see it's going to screw up the effect. But no worries, all we need to do is to go back to the layout tab and adjust the width setting until we get the desired look. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, uh, simply keyframe the Z setting and then let's do that one more time at the end of this clip. So now guys, you will see that uh, we have this rotating effect, rotating text that is centered at the middle of the screen, uh, which is exactly uh, what we want. For the next part, what we're going to do is to simply copy and paste this text node. Now let's go back to the background node here and we are going to just uh, bring down this uh, background text just so that it sits right underneath the first one. And we're gonna go to the transform tab, go to size, and we're also going to reduce the Y setting here. Uh, and now when we do that, we're gonna have to go back to the layout tab, just bring this up a bit so that it sits right underneath the first line of text. Now let's go to the shading tab. And uh, the first thing we're gonna do here is to change the color uh, to something different. Another thing we can do here is to change solid to uh, uh, outline. Uh, now when we do that, we can also adjust the thickness of the outline if the default thickness uh, is too much uh, for you. So you guys will see that now we have two lines of uh, rotating text that uh, are sitting right on top of each other. All right, now as an added bonus, we're going to look at how to place an image in the middle of the text here. So let's bring in that image and we are going to first of all bring a background note and we're going to connect that image to the background just to conform to the size. And we're going to turn down the alpha setting, uh, bring it down to a zero. So now let's connect this image uh, back to the merge node uh, here. Uh, now, what we're going to do actually is to switch the input so that the image is actually uh, going to be the background and the text is going to be the foreground. All right, so now what we're going to do is to bring a rectangle masking node connected to uh, the mask input here. And we're going to just uh, first of all, place it uh, around the middle of the text there, so that looks good. And now the next thing we're going to do is to check the invert setting there. And lastly, we are going to connect the merge one to merge three as a foreground here. And then we are going to go to merge two, uh, which is the background, and then uh, connect it to the mask input in this merge four node. And then uh, let's go to merge four, go to settings tab, and then click apply mask inverted. And we can also come to uh, the merge two node here and uh, uh, just adjust the size uh, of the image here. But uh, yeah, guys, at this point, you will see that not only do we have the uh, rot a 3D rotating text effect, we also have uh, an image that is sitting right in the middle of it. All right, guys, so that's it for this tutorial. I uh, hope you enjoy, and as always, I will see you next time.